featuring the Waltonville Spartans, Weber Township Trojans, and Woodlawn Cardinals. The Jefferson County Basketball Showcase is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. The Jefferson County Basketball Showcase is also sponsored in part by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what health care should be. The Collision Pros at Cesar Auto Body, Newell Furniture, and the General Store in Woodlawn. Red Lake College, it's time. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu and by Coach House Garages. Ford Square, King City Chrysler. You can count on us. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. State Farm agent Scott Owens. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And People's National Bank. With the Coach House Garage's pregame show, the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase starts now. We welcome you inside Wayne City High School for the 58th Annual Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament as the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase presents the Ziegler Royalton Tornadoes versus the Weber Township Trojans. A very pleasant Monday evening, wherever you may be, listening in on 94.1 WMIX. As well as MyWithersRadio.com, I'm Denny Fawinski. I'll be bringing you the play-by-play tonight of this ball game. Joining me in just a few moments will be the voice of Mount Vernon Athletics on WMIX, Mr. Chris Hugo. This three-game show is brought to you by Coach House Garages. If you're in need of a garage, protect your car, prize possessions. Coach House Garages has the building for you. Call Daryl Sheridan at 244-1061 for a free on-site estimate. As you can hear in the background, both teams are warming up the squeaking of shoes and the pounding of basketballs. And as the aforementioned Chris Hugo joins me, we have made this journey several years in a row. Really don't know how many it's been, but, boy, it seems like we've been going here a while for this tournament. Yeah, I, th- I think our first venture over here, I think, was sometime in the 06 07 season, actually. So this will be our sixth season coming over to Conrad Allen. Where we're always treated wonderfully. The hospitality is amazing. And we usually get to see some good 1A basketball. And there's been a lot of good 1A basketball. There's been five games played already in this tournament, and one of them was just completed, and we'll get through to that and those scores later on in the Scott Owens State Farm Insurance Scoreboard Update. We need to step out for a break. When we come back, we'll talk more about this tournament, the teams involved, and everything you'd want to know, most of all, mainly, maybe not, about the 58th Annual Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament. This is the Coach House Free Game Show. You're listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. A coach house garage is money well spent On craftsmanship that's sure to get compliments Don't cut corners on your garage, it adds value to your home That's why you need to see the professionals at Coach House Garages Choose from a variety of Coach House Garage designs Or they'll build one to your design For a dealer near you, check the yellow pages in Mount Vernon Or go online to coachhousegarages.com More than just a garage More than just a garage It's a Coach House whether you're an Integra customer needing a new home or just tired of the constant changes associated with big corporate banking, you do have a choice. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins with Community First Bank. We built our business around one goal, your needs. With five locations and a team of your friends and neighbors to support you, your banking solutions are handled right here at home. And to make your move easy, we have new account specials and personal bankers ready to help. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. We're worldwide. This is the showcase on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com, presented by Community First Bank. Welcome back to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. More specifically, the Coach House Garages pregame show. If you're looking for a garage builder that will build a quality garage at a fair price with a five-year written warranty and financing available in the Coach House Garages for you, call Daryl Sheridan at 244 244- 1061 for a free on-site estimate. Nine minutes before the start of this one, Chris. And the first things first is to talk about it. We had uh, Wade City Athletic Director Tony Richardson on Saturday, on Saturday our Saturday sports show. We discussed the 58th annual of the Conrad Allen Harley Tournament. The man is named after the administrator staff member here at Wade City High School for many years. This has been one of the top 1A tournaments for several years. It's evolved. It's changed. It's added. It's taken away teams, brought teams back in. It's always seemed to stay ahead, whether it's a bracketed tournament or by pool. Well, it has. It's once a 16-team tournament. It's been its first inception as we see the officials walking out, guys that are friendly to the broadcast, of course. Uh, and it's evolved now. And for a while, it was just kind of a still, a still a round-robin pool play, and then now it's a pool play with two pools of five, so ten teams back of the tournament. It's just a tournament that has continued to evolve into what it is today, and it's a great tournament for 1A schools to participate in. 
And these are usually your schools that may not have a lot of high profile, because when you think of 1A, you usually think of Oakville, you think of Woodlawn, you think of Tacoma. These are the teams that don't get a lot of publicity, but year in and year out play great basketball. Well, and these teams, as you mentioned, the history of this program, 58, 57 years of history, this is obviously the 58th year. And you look back, starting in 1954, schools that are no longer around but have merged into or whatever, you talk about schools like Allendale. I say Allendale. Stewartson's in here, Crossville, uh, the Allendale Yellow Jackets, Crossville Tigers, Infield is in this one, Dahlgren, Mills Prairie. You look down the list, I know Valier made a trip, I believe, in this appearance. In field before the in field. I mean, you talk about all the schools that have been in and out. Then you go through the 80s, and I have been around long enough, old as I may be. I made trips over here, or was somebody brought me over in the 80s when Fetzer Valier, Waltville, Woodlawn, North, North Clay, Wayne City used to have battles over here. And then it changed over into the late 80s when Waltville went out joined at El Dorado to toughen up their schedule, and then the tournament kind of had to go around and skip the different teams, Cesar Valera in and out in the 90s. So this tournament's done a good job of going to get so many different teams, Chris, to come in. I mean, now anywhere from Crab Orchard to Patoka make this trip over to Wayne City. Well, they do, and, and it's a tournament that has had to continually evolve, like we said. And, and they've gone out. Consolidation has hit them hard over the years as far as teams disappearing because they've merged into other districts. NCOE is a prime example of that. But they, they've done a phenomenal job, and what keeps teams coming back is the competitiveness, the great job of hosting that the administration and staff does here at Wayne City High School, and just the overall passion put into this tournament. Uh, fan support has been lacking the past few seasons, so it would be nice to see some more fans come out and support all these teams, because you're going to see a lot of a good team in this tournament, primarily in the form of the Crab Orchard Trojans. Yeah, and Crab Orchard, a regional champion last year out of all the teams in this tournament, is some up-and-coming teams, you know, teams with younger talent. Of course, Clay City Noble co-ops now together. And, you know, you have Thompsonville and Crab Orchard from the GEC, Wayne City Weber, Clay City or Clay City from the Midland Trail. You've got Edwards County involved. A lot of 1A schools. And, Chris, this gives them the opportunity in this 1A tournament only, the opportunity to play schools their size, their enrollment, and they don't have to worry about playing a 2A school or anything like that. Exactly. This is a who's who of the Little Illini, the GEC, the Black Diamond as far as the R being here. It's also who's through the Midland Trail, the Egyptian Illini. Um, I believe we've covered everybody with, with yep. those conferences. and It's just a great tournament year in and year out. It's one that I like coming to every year just because we don't get a lot of chances necessarily to put Weber on the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. So it's a chance for us to come out and see the Trojans as well. Well, we'll need to step out for another break. This is the Coach House Garages pregame show, and if you're in need of a garage, protect your car, prize, possession. Coach House Garages has the building for you. Call Daryl Sheridan at 244-1061 for a free on-site estimate. We'll step out. We'll come back. We'll talk about Weber Township and Ziegler Oaks a little more in-depth. You're listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. The big holiday sale continues at Newell Furniture in Woodlawn. Lazy Boy recliners, glide rockers, and TV consoles starting at $3.29, sofas only $5.99, Sealy plush top bedding $6.49, plus 15% off all jewelry on walls, Javel mirrors, side tables, coat trees, benches, pictures, and more. Plus, there's lots of holiday fun and savings at the general store with 30% off all Christmas decor and 15 to 20% off everything else. Shop Newell's big holiday sale for savings galore. People's National Bank would like to remind everyone to listen to the Mount Vernon Rams this season right here on WMIX. People's National Bank has been serving Southern Illinois since 1909 and knows the importance of supporting local youth sporting events in the community. Tune in to WMIX 94.1 and show your support for the Mount Vernon Rams. People's National Bank, your true community bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Sessor Auto Body would like to take a moment to remind everyone driving to and from the game to drive safe and be alert. Sometimes events happen beyond your control. When it does, take your vehicle to the collision pros. Sessor Auto Body is pre-approved by most insurance companies throughout Southern Illinois. This allows them to get the parts ordered quicker, getting you back on the road faster and in showroom condition. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor, or call 625-3523. That's 625-3523. 
when an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital. With our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge, the entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit CrossroadsCommunityHospital.com slash faster to learn more. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, call 911. For more scores and insight, follow us on Twitter at 94sports. Now back to the showcase on WMIX. Welcome back to the Coach House Garage's pregame show. Danny Zerinsky and Chris Hugo alongside Weber Township and CR. Getting together, Chris, already, and this is only December 12th for the third time this year, and CR has two wins over the Trojans. And we sure, we jokingly told some of our friends from CR that Weber's the only team on their schedule, but these two teams have gotten together quite a few times. For once in this tournament, you also have the instance where they faced off in the Christopher Turkey tournament to start the year, and then a the regular season matchup as well. So these two teams very familiar with each other. Of course, Matt Morgan in his first season at CR. I guess, yeah, as you as you phrase it, yes, so, the blueprint. Yeah, that's the blueprint that's from Jamie Moyers. Yeah, Jamie Lee always. is in his first year at Weber Township. He replaces, of course, Sam Root. So it's you know it's a battle of first year head coaches in this matchup happening for a third time now. Dr. got the first two, but the Trojans now hope to come out prepared tonight to get that first win of the season. Zero and six thus far. Back to Christopher tournament. Dr. beat Weber fifty four twenty eight. Since then, regular season, I think it's about a week later. ZR ended up beating Weber Township again in a matchup. So these two teams very familiar with each other. Leading scorers Jeffrey Pettico at 9.1 and Brandon Jones at 7.4. Lead the way for the Ziggler Rollton heading into this matchup. And the Weber Township Trojans, as you said, trying to get that win. And again, Chris, we've seen that when teams start to struggle, it's hard to break that slump. But, you know, this Weber Township team, all the games we've heard, less them but good things being done. And somewhere down the line, eventually they're going to get a win. They play too hard not to. Oh, they do, and they're coming out. More kids are in the program this year for whatever reason, so they have a bigger talent pool to choose from. Hopefully that experience now for some of these kids getting out on the floor will lead to some death. This is a team that does have some athletes, especially 6'6", Ty Henderson, who I believe might be battling a little bit of a bug. I don't believe we're going to see him tonight, according to the information that I have, but you do have a lot of kids out there that have put a lot of time into trying to rebound out there in Blueford, and you know, with the talent they've had over the years, from the Payne brothers to, of course, the magical run to the super sectional back in 04 05, it's not as if basketball is a stranger to Bluford. They've been playing it for years and they've done a good job doing it. We'll step out for our final break. When we come back, we'll give you the starting line. the opening tip here on the Coach House Garage's pregame show. You're listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Sports fans can be the hardest people to shop for, so WMIX has the perfect gift idea. A little more Saturday Sports Show. Tell the fanatic in your family to tune in to WMIX AM 940 on Saturday mornings after the 8 o'clock news. We talk to the coaches they want, provide the insight they crave, and the scores they need. The best part? We'll take care of the gift wrap. The Saturday Sports Show, every week on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. Hey, this is Big Dave at All Stars and Stitches. Located at 418 East Main Street, a half a block from the Benton High School, our hours are Monday through Friday from 10 to 6 and Saturday 10 to 3. We provide custom screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, vehicle lettering, vehicle wraps. If you want it printed on, we probably do it. Hey, this is Coach Aaron. You're the big man. Big Dave a call at All Stars and Stitches, 435-555-555. By the way, what was that phone number again? 435-555-555. Are you tired of being charged unnecessary fees by other banks in our area? Hi, this is Melody True at People's National Bank. With our customer-friendly products such as free checking, Saluki checking, Visa check cards, online banking, bill pay, and much more, People's National Bank is proud to offer our customers the products they deserve. Stop by one of our People's National Bank locations or visit us online at peoplesnationalbank.com and see what banking with a family-owned community bank is all about. People's National Bank, member FDIC, non-usage fees may apply. Well, we're catching every game, just a lot more from uh, home than here in the stands, huh? Yeah, and when we do get to go, Dad says we got to bring our own peanuts and stuff. Looking for some extra ticket money this season? Let a State Farm agent do a free discount double check that could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. We'll always be there for this team, even when we can't actually be here. Visit Jefferson County State Farm agent Scott Owens at 1810 Broadway and Mount Vernon for a free discount double check. Discounts may vary state to state. 
This is 50,000 watts of the award-winning Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX, Mount Vernon, Marion, O'Fallon, a Withers Broadcasting Superstation. Back to Wayne City, People's National Bank. Thank you to starting lineup. Stop by a People's National Bank and let them remind you it's what banking with a local family-owned bank is all about. People's National Bank member FDIC. They sponsor your starting lineup for tonight. Mr. Chris Hugo. Yeah, first four of the GR Tornadoes coached by Matt Morgan in his first year. They will have number 11, Bailey Schimpf, number 12, Nick McPhail, Jeffrey Pettigo wearing number 24. We're going to start as will number 45, Peyton Clark. And for the Weber Trojans, they will feature number 4, Zane Austin, number 10, Greg O'Dell, number 14, Colton Dye, number 20, Chris Bush, and number 35, Alex Lynn. Those well, starting lineups brought to you by People's National Bank have instant access to your account anytime, anywhere. With online banking from People's National Bank, log on to peoplesnationalbank.com, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. We have Weber Township in blue uniforms trimmed in gold and white. CR in white uniforms trimmed in navy. The officiating crew wants to move dress, all good friends of the show and the games that we do. Steve Fouch, Ron Stannard, and Steve McCoy. It's good to see Ron Standard out there. Yes, Ron had it is. I think a quintuple bypass. He's a neighbor of mine, and uh, glad to see him out there and glad to see him out moving around. And I knew things were going to be okay when I saw Ronnie out mowing his yard uh, probably now about a month ago. So just glad to see him back out there that he's well and that we have a great crew on this game tonight. Well, if you hear some noise in front of us, we are cheerleaders are positioned directly in front of us. We are on the stage here. Tony Richardson, the AD. And all the staff here at Wayne City High School taking good care of us already. The hospitality room tremendous tonight as we get underway, especially for me after I walk nine holes today before a game. Weber Township with a basketball. Zane Austin with it across the timeline. It's the man-to-man of the Trojans. Throws it left side to Odell. At the left elbow to die. He holds top of the key to Austin. Austin dribbles to the right wing. Now dribbles back to the middle of the floor. Picks up his dribble and travels with a basketball. First turnover on the Trojans. Just underway in the 7 o'clock game. The first game flew by. We'll give you an update on that one in the first four games from Saturday on a Scott Owen State Farm Insurance scoreboard update coming up soon. Weber Township will play a 2-3 zone. The Tornadoes have the basketball. Schimpf with it, throws it into the box to Bark. Shot no good. Ball to the floor, tipped around. ZR had the rebound, threw it away, and stolen by Greg O'Dell. He'll bring it across the timeline for the Trojans back to the middle of the floor. Leaves it at the top of the key for Austin. Austin throws it left wing to Odell. Odell at the elbow. Leaves it for Die. Die with it. Up right side, left side to Lynn. And Weber Township will reset. Dribbling to the right wing is Austin. Now leaves it deep right wing for Odell. Tries to go right baseline. Now cuts it back to the right elbow. Picks it up. Throws it back out to the right elbow to Die. Back to Austin. Austin has to find somebody. Dribbles. Now dribbles again. Now throws the right wing to Lynn. Lynn holds back to the basket, unfortunately. Out dribbles a couple of times, throws the top of the key to die. Back to Austin. Austin down the left side of the lane, loses it out of bounds, and it leaves the R basketball. Had something developing that time, Danny, on the left side of the floor. Was trying to go elbow to baseline to make something happen. Just lost control of the dribble. It went out of bounds. And the R will have that basketball. No score here. Well, 640 left in the first quarter. Wayne City High School, the host of the Conrad Allen, and also a boys and girls basketball regional this year come February. With the basketball, the Tornadoes. Clark down the lane, leaves it all four. Ryan Lepofsky missed the shot, rebounded by Weber Township. Nobody can break the seal. Here as we come across the timeline around the screen, as Austin can't get away from the defender, throws it to the left wing, tipped out of bounds by the Tornadoes. If you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is the home in Dick, Ina, Woodlawn, and Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Trojans with the basketball, inbound on the right wing to Greg O'Dell. Picks up his dribble and throws deep inside to Bush. Bush with it, now skips the pass left wing to Lynn. Back out to Austin. Austin on the dribble, comes around the left side, throws left wing at the feet of Lynn, picks it up, back out front to die out by the timeline. He'll dribble to the middle of the floor, leave it now by the timeline for Austin. No score, under six to go in the first quarter. Weber Township and ZR. There goes the Trojans down the left side. Greg O'Dell off the glass and in. First basket of the game. The Trojans have a lead. Maybe the third time will be the charm tonight for Weber Township. Took the words right out of my thoughts. There is a reaching foul on number 10. Greg O'Dell, Weber Township, his first team first. We will pick a community heartland. Take that back. Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game. Crossroads Community Hospital is more than the hospital. It's what health care should be. I am rubbing off. 
Well, it's just the ability to think I've got to get those in and having to get into practice of being able to do those all the time. The R with it down the left side. McPhail to the rim off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Clark. Eagles up and in and a foul. Peyton Clark has a basket, has his first two points, and we're tied at two with 524 to go in the first. Unfortunately, as I was writing stuff down, I didn't see Mr. Fouch signal a number. Free throw is good by Peyton Clark. That's his third point. It's 3-2 Tornado. Here sitting on the stage, we the scoreboard that has the foul information for players is to our left on the wall. We cannot see that, so if we miss the first signal, we are out of luck. On the right wing with it is Odell. Throws it to the front row of bleachers, and we'll go the other way. Your community, your choice, your bank. With five locations and friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs, Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. ZR with a basketball, throws it on the right side, and they swing it deep into the corner for a three ball coming from McPhail. It's no good, though. Rebounded up and in by Peyton Clark. He has five points, and he's beating ZR, beating Weber Township by himself five to two. Trojans quickly into the front court. They throw it way back to the half line. Austin has to retrieve it over by the Indian logo. Austin with it between the circle. Throws it left wing to Odell. He's on the dribble. Spins down the lane. Shot off the glass too strong. Gets his own board. Shot glass. No good. Rebounded by ZR. Petty go with it across the timeline. The leading score at nine a game for the Tornadoes. Down the lane. Shot blocked. Rebounded by the Tornadoes. Go deep in the left corner. That is Clark with a shot from 16. It's no good. Rebound out of bounds. Off of Weber Township, which was tipped out by ZR. And now we have a timeout. Probably a good time for a timeout here, Danny. Things are starting to get kind of wild on the Weber end. Shots are just too strong. They're coming in like fools that shine a shot. Throwing it way too hard off the glass. Sure, they got a couple of rebounds offensively that time. However, the stickbacks are way too hard as well. And they're just, it's as if the not understanding trajectory of how basketball moves up a backboard. Well, we got a timeout. Let's go through a Scott Owen State Farm insurance scoreboard update. The scores here from the Conrad Allen this week so far. Saturday's action, Disney defeated Clay City Noble, 63-37. It was Crab Orchard over Grayville, 82-40. Edwards County defeated Ziegler Royalton, 73-58. And Wayne City, the host, beat Thompsonville, 43-24. That's a nice action. It was Patoka over Thompsonville, 45-40. That's Corbo Update brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. Give him a call for a free discount double check. If you're paying too much for auto insurance, like a good neighbor, State Farm agent Scott Owens is there. Just like a good neighbor... Unfortunately for the Trojans, Vic McPhail knocked down a long two-pointer, and it's 7-2 Tornado. Austin across the timeline. Throws it left wing to Odell. He holds at the waist, now takes the dribble to the left. Has to come around the screen by Lynn to the corner, now leaves the top of the key for Dye. Colton Dye will dribble and dribble down to the right side. Now he goes right baseline, fadeaway 10-footer off the iron. Hits to the floor, hits and rebounded by Nick McPhail. He leaves it for Patty Go. Had to go the other way, has trouble, now spins at the volleyball line in the front court, picks it up, throws it right side to Schimpf. Schimpf three is good. The old Detlef. Detlef has nailed a three. Take that back, we'll say Bailey. Schimpf has de- nailed a three, it's 10 to 2, ZR, with 3.33 to go in the first quarter. Colton Dye will circle in the backcourt, and he'll bring it up as we're denying Austin the basketball right now. Colton Dye dribbles right side, left side, now goes back for the pass. To Bush, who gives it to Austin. Austin down the lane. Shot from behind the backboard. No good. Wasn't strong enough. Rebounded by McPhail. The tornado spins down the floor looking for his pass. They go left wing to Pettigo. Pettigo back out front to McPhail. They go to the left elbow to Clark. Throws it inside to Leposki, and he's fouled. And CR, Chris, doing a great job moving the ball inside and outside right now. They are. Now it's clearly an instance, Danny, where Leposki saw that develop, was able to step in there. And draw the contact off of Alex Lynn, who picks up his first team's third. And Leposki will go to the line and shoot two. First one is up and in, and he makes the first of the DR team. Out to a quick start, a three and four record this year, of course. That might have been Lynn's second. My apologies. Well, two of those wins against Weber Township. Now a timeout by Weber Township. And we'll remind you, familiar faces, new places, bank and... Bank with Ray and Bree at Community First Bank's 42nd Street location in Mount Vernon. And welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Claire, the lights got me on that one. That'll happen. 
Yeah, lots of jets out there. Can't that, do that because I can't see, especially when they're new. They are new, but the problem was the plastic covering up the paper was glaring anyway. You know what? It'll be a pain when there's life, but by gosh, you'll be happy if you ever spill water on them. Well, I'm not worried about spilling water. Cause this is like having any kind of electronic equipment within so many feet. You don't put things up like that. Yeah, but if you're ever outside doing football or baseball, softball baseball. or baseball, yeah. you'll be glad you have it. Oh, I'm not complaining. Well, you don't need it then, but you know. I'm not complaining. I'm sure you're not. I'll give you as much grief as I can. Oh, no, it's fine with me. I grief you on the way over, so it's only fair. <laughs> Across the timeline is Austin. He throws it for Colton Dye. Dye down the lane. Pull-up jump from 12 is good. Tough shot, but Dye knocks it down. Gets to live another day as he goes down the other end of the floor, 12-4. 250 to go in the first quarter. McPhail with it, throws it left side to Pettigo, holds above his head. Matt Morgan yells out a plan, throws it left side to Shemp. Shemp for another three. It's long off the back iron, rebounded by Weber Township. And going the other way, here comes Weber Township. Austin spins at the timeline. <laughs> More funnies coming in and faces being made. Throws it left side to Odell. He dribbles down to the baseline, picks it back out. Leaves it in the corner for Welch, who's just checked in. Welch to the rim and scores. Tyler Welch drives to the rim off the left baseline and drops it in, 12-6. McPhail across the timeline, left corner pass to Shemp. Back out top to Pettigo. Pettigo holds above his head, will dribble between the circles. Throws the right wing to McPhail. Had it tipped away, had to go recover it out behind the three-point line. There comes the three ball. Oh, no, Pettigo faked me out. Now throws it right side to McPhail. Get pass across the way to Shemp. Drive, but that's good. Bailey Shemp has five points. And it's 146 to go. ZR leads Weber Township 14-6 to six in the first quarter. Austin throws it left wing to Odell. Gets his man-to-man. Throws it inside to die. Goes to the rim. Off the iron and good. Gets the shot to trickle right over the front iron. And it's 14-8 ZR. Across the timeline for the tornado. Sick McPhail throws it in the corner to Shemp. Back to McPhail. Thought about the three, now throws it to the left side to Pettigo. Pettigo drives baseline, spins, picks up his dribble, kicks the right wing to Chip. He thought about the shot, was covered. Now gives it to McPhail, down the lane, shot good, off the glass. They are scoring at will right now, 16 first quarter points. They are, and they're being more physical right now, and that's allowing them to create opportunities. The Trojans are a little gun shy. Austin lost the dribble, went to the floor, had it tipped away, picked it back up. Wasn't a travel. Now he gives it to Colton Dye. Die down to the right block, shot fake on. Peyton Clark of Die traveled the basketball trying to get an extra step in. Kind of wonder if that might be, and I'm not saying that they do that, but you kind of wonder if that might be a makeup for the travel that wasn't called earlier. We'll just have to see as things go on. The R into the front court. Shimp with it, throws the top of the key to McPhail. Three ball on the way off the iron, clings out to the left side out of bounds. And it'll belong to the Weber Township Trojans. The yard's going to pick up pressure now. Full court man-to-man. What well, five locations in Mount Vernon Dix. Ina and Woodmont Community First Bank is proud to the official voice of the showcase. Welcome back to personal banking member FDIC. Weber with a basketball down by eight, 16 to eight. 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. They throw it away. Here comes McPhail on a breakaway. Leaves it off the hands of Clark out of bounds that'll belong to Weber Township. Weber will try this again. Now ZR picking up full court again. You'd really like to see Weber be able to capitalize on one of these chances. Well, Odell the other way. Picks it up. Tells it to die top of the key to Austin. Austin down the right wing. Dribbles back out. Leaves it. And they swing it all the way around here to Welch. Welch thought about dribbling in. Kicks it back out to Odell. Man to man with 13 seconds. Odell has. Look. Gives it to Colton Dye down the lane. Shot good. Colton Dye has six of Weber's ten points. 16-10 with four. ZR the other way with three. There's a three ball by McPhail off the front of the iron. No good. And that's how this first quarter will end. ZR 16, Weber Township 10. Back to Wayne City for more of the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. When you want the best, think the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. The Orthopedic Center has the unique distinction of being one of only two non-academic accredited orthopedic teaching and research facilities in the state of Illinois. Our goal in education is to inspire the next generation of orthopedic surgeons. Patient care, education, and research are our core strengths. Located on Veterans Memorial Drive, Mount Vernon, and St. Mary's Good Samaritans in Troya Campus. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Discover the difference. Hi, Joe David Cummins with Community First Bank. With five locations in Jefferson County, a seven-month, .77% APY CD special, free checking, 
free Internet banking, and free debit cards tied to local schools, isn't now the perfect time to move your banking relationship to a local community bank? No gimmicks, just your neighbors and friends taking care of your banking needs. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Daily schedules, scores, and more. Like WMIX Sports on Facebook. Back to the showcase on WMIX. First quarter in the book here at Wayne City. The Conrad Allen with ZR leads Weber Township 16-10 as we start the second quarter. The Tornadoes inbound the basketball. It's better go with it between the circles. Throws it right side to McPhail. Throws inside to Jones. Shot is up and in. Brandon Jones off the bench. Averaging seven points a game. Gets two there, and it's 18-10. Tornadoes lead Weber Township. Austin across the timeline has it tipped away. Ball scrambled to the floor, stolen away by the Tornadoes. They have a three-on-one. Pettigo to the rim and scores off the turnover. Mr. Pettigo has his first two points of the game. Leading score with 9-20-10 ZR. Just like that, the Tornadoes have their largest lead of the night at 10. Colton died to the right wing. Throws it out front to Austin. Ball tipped away and stolen by McPhail. Off the glass and in the other way, and... ZR is starting to spin away from Weber Township, and the coach of Weber Township, Jamie Lee, wants a timeout. And Chris, right now, it's turnovers leading to points, and the lead being extended by ZR. A good defense wins ball games, but a great a great defense creates good offense, and that's exactly what the Tornado has been able to do here. Starting off with possession, they're on a 6-0 run, and just we thought Weber was going to start mounting a comeback and get some of that momentum on their side. Unfortunately, the possession arrow did not rest in their favor to start that second quarter. And thusly, that turned into this huge run because VR was able to cause a few turnovers, turn them into points, and now they're rolling. We'll be looking for a Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game at the end of this one. Crossroads Community Hospital is more than a hospital. It's what health care should be. 7-10 to go in the first half, 22-10. to Weber Township trails VR. Colton Dye down the lane. They change ball handlers now. Dye's going to handle it. Throws back out to Austin to Dye in the right corner. He walked, got away with it. Cuts right baseline. Throws it out. The ball tipped into the back door. Odell will be able to retrieve it for the Trojan. He'll bring it into the front court. Across the timeline. Down the lane. Shot from 15 off the iron. Rebounded by Pettigo. He'll go the other way. Finds some defense, but he gets across the timeline into the neutral zone. Now holds on the left wing, throws it right side to McPhail, inside to Jones. Turnaround jumper blocked, high on the rebound, then he throws it out of bounds. Got excited, wanting to head the other way on the break, and threw it out of bounds. Well, excited is the key word there. We just saw the same thing out of Odell. Get, get excited after recovering the ball in the backcourt. Race across off of the dribble, and then pull up from about 12. And not the shot that Jamie Lee wanted at that time, but that led to this current ZR opportunity. We'll see if they can capitalize and extend this lead. Nepler checked in for Bush. ZR to the rim, inbounds to Jones, and it's good. Jones has four points off the bench. He's halfway to beating his average for the year so far through seven games. Austin with it, throws it right side to Welch. Welch has it tipped and stolen away. Now it's on the floor. Recovered by Odell to the rim. Reverse left, no good, but a foul. Gabe Jelly gets the foul for ZR. And that'll send number 10, Greg Odell, to the free throw line to shoot two. With five Jefferson County branches and responsive quality service for all your accounts, Community First Bank would like to be the first to say, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. First free throw up and in by Greg Odell. And it's a 24-11. to They are on top of Weber Township here at the 58th Annual Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament. Second free throw is good. 24-12, lead cut to half. Dozen to a two dozen. Now in the corner, ZR's going to work around against his zone. It's a 3-2 zone. Three ball and away from the left wing by Pettigo. No good. Goes to the floor. Schimpf with the rebound. He fouls. Schimpf will go to the line and shoot two for the Trojans, or I should say the Tornadoes, and try to extend this lead. Two free throws coming up. And what would that be? This side information going on. First free throw, no good. Basketball related. Boris Moskov will check in for ZR. And Schimpf has a second one. He does get the second. He has six tonight. 25-12. Six minutes to go in the first half. We'll, we, we will have the Green Lake College halftime show. Scoring and staff scores from around the area and around the professional college ranks as well as Odell has it tipped away and that's going to be a foul. Nick McPhail reached in, picked up a cheap one on the right wing. 
Steve McCoy, Ron Standard, and Mr. Fouch on this game this evening. Affectionately known as Lane Kiffin, Happy Madison, and Pedro. Lane Kiffin in front of us holding the whistle tonight. Here comes Colton Dye, loses the basketball on the spin, goes to the floor, and that'll be possession arrow to Weber Township as Colton Dye got a little out of control. Too many defenders to go around. Of course, this is the second of three games tonight here at Wayne City. Following this one and the would be the 8:30 contest will be Grayville and Edwards County. Ooh, a red and black team will win that game tonight. I have a feeling. Colton Dye with it leaves it stolen away by McPhail. He's going on a break with Dye catching back up. Good and a foul. Boy, what a play by Nick McPhail. Colton Dye was bearing down on him, got in front of him, fouled him, and Nick McPhail was still able to score. Bell made that look easy. Give him a lot of credit off the dribble after the steal. He was able to extend that arm as if he was picture a defensive end coming around for the sack using that arm to get around the offensive line. Exactly how he did it on the dribble to force the breakaway. Got the easy layup until uh, Colton Dye came from behind, gave him a little push. Since in the line, he's going to make him earn it. I don't have to picture any bad football. I saw 60 minutes of it last night. Free throw up and in. Bye. Hey, bad football. I just said I'm saying the way it is. I'm ready to cut people and everything else in South Dallas right now. Across the timeline, here comes Tyler Welch to the wing, to the baseline. He's going to get a foul. Tyler Welch impresses me, Chris. He did start the game. And he's come in, and he's made things happen here in this first half. For I do not remember his age off the top of my head, Danny. But he is looking to be somebody that could earn a nickname like Sparkplug here on the show. He, he's, he's a freshman, and we'll make note of that because he's got ability right now. He's going to get a, a nickname here before this one's out. Shot off the inbound, rattles in, good. Greg Odell threw it up, bounced about four times off the rim and dropped. Well, 28 the Irish there off the iron. Yes. The Irish, and it went, oh, it went in. Inside, they go inside to Jelly up and in. Jelly makes jam, and it's 30 to 14. Across the timeline, Greg Odell. Sure. And related to Jelly on the ZR82 championship. Yeah, I'm sure right. it has to be. Mythical 82 team. 1A football champ. Beat a team from Walnut, yep. now known as Manly Espiro Valley. Right. That's crazy how things work out. Colton Dye on the right wing, top of the key, Odell. Loses it, stolen away by Shimp. Shimp the other way on the breakaway will score him easily. And it is now 32-14. Turnovers have been a major issue in this first half for the Trojans. Wow. Here comes Colton Dye across the time. I'm telling you what, I, I like Welch. Mr. Welch. Colton Dye shot no good. Rebound weak side out of bounds. Oh, no, it's saved in by great play by Shemp. And he gets it up to McPhail across the timeline. Down in the paint to Mr. Jones. He missed the shot, though. Here comes the Trojans the other way. Austin and Welch. And Austin brings it up and he's tackled. One of the hardest hits I've seen in a while by Nick McPhail of ZR, his second team fourth. Four minutes to go in the first half. ZR leads Weber Township 32-14. Of course, we understand they have a thought the Ziegler Eagles, I believe. Yes, we'd like to welcome in the people at the Ziegler Eagles listening in in Ziegler, Illinois. We appreciate them listening in. Your Tornadoes are up 32-14. As we talk about the 82 state football champs, Matt Swalls, Sean Connor, remember those teams? I was not alive, but I did a lot of research on it one time. Oh, Sean Connor, I'm telling you what, he was worth the price of admission in both sports. Flat fill it up no matter how many people you had on him. Tremendous Class 1A player. The Weber Township with it. Welch is in the corner, throws it back out. Hotel stays it back to the top key to Austin. Stolen away now by Clark, going the other way. That's stolen away, and we come back. It's back and forth. What you could do worse, we can do worse better as we move along. Odell's going to slow it up for the Trojans coming the other way. He will dribble at the timeline, and he leaves it. Tries to leave it for Austin. He's defended. Now Odell's looking for a blue shirt. Can't find one. Still can't find one. Five, seven. Oh, it's timeout. Timeout, Weber Township. That's their third of the half by my count. Scoreboard update. We're going to try to find you some scores here. It's hard, though, because our high school teams will play on Monday, and the college teams, a lot of them on semester exams. Arkansas Little Rock leads Oral Roberts 17-14 wow. in the first half. Rutgers leads Monmouth 30-27. to um, let's see what else we have here. Southeast Louisiana leads Southern 16-8 to in the first half. As you can see what's going on here. 
And those are the college scores of interest. I don't know about that last part, part, but they are college scores. They are college scores. NFL game tonight, of course, the Rams and Seahawks getting ready to kick off on our sister station, AM 940. Game broad, baby. Steve Spar, DeMarco Farr, and the fellas. And they're on, ready to go. Yep. That scoreboard that day brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance, dedicated to helping you get the right coverage with the discount you deserve. Give Scott Owens a call at 242-3770. Like a good neighbor, Scott Owens is there. As the NFL goes. Oh, oh more good. of the fans, friends of the show. Look, look the cat dragged up. Tester and Stu Coin are represented. I think it's a little of everybody. Except Jimmy Dane. Jared Knapp and David Davis in the first game, all friends of us. We have lots of friends in the officiating ring. Fruit Bowl well represented tonight, too. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. I will right, we'll leave it at that. Top of the key with it is Weber Township. Odell leaves it for Austin as Weber Township tries to get back into this one down 32-14. Now, that's an interesting thing. Morris Moskov just flat went through a screen, and I mean went through a screen. He pushed Odell so hard, all he saw was the bottom of his soles as he was falling to the ground. Amazing. Welch is out of the game. He's getting a break for Weber Township. Odell to the rim. Shot no good. Rebounded by Jelly. He'll bring it across and gives it to Moscow. Top of the key against his 3-2 zone. He tries to throw inside and it's stolen away by Odell. And Dye has it on the recovery. Dye leaves it for Austin. And the Trojans will come the other way and get this man-to-man for ZR. Austin throws left side to Odell. Holds. Mouthpiece in the mouth. Now dribbles, now leaves the top of the key for Lynn. Lynn throws it, now goes right side to Colton Dye. Throws it back out top of the key to Austin. Austin dribbles left side to Odell and swings. The ball, nothing there. Goes to Dye in the block. Shot fake, no good, but Colton Dye will go to the line and shoot two. And Mr. Dye has been impressing. Yes, he has. I, I could foresee a nice one-two punch developing over the season with Tyler Welch and Colton Dye. Yeah, Colton Dye coloring the scorebook tonight. With several points, as I look, he has six. Gonna try to turn it into a quick eight. And drops it out. Ball hit the back iron, slowed it down, then kicked off the back box over the front of the rim and out. He'll get one more. Weber Township trails ZR 32-14 with 2.16 to go. Die hits the second, 32-15 now. And ZR has the basketball. These two teams began the year at the Christopher Holiday Tournament. ZR will head to the Sector Valer Holiday Tournament in a couple of weeks. So they do not play at midwinter time? No, they do not. Three tournaments, and that's a reach in foul on number 20, Chris Bush. That's his first team's fourth. The Trojans, of course, will participate in the Midland Trail Conference Tournament at midwinter time. Yes, they will, along with many others. The R out of the box set, throws it in the left corner to Jones. He holds high above his head, throws inside to Clark. Clark back out top the key to Pettigo, and he gives it off to Jones, and Jones is fouled. And that'll be a foul on Weber Township. I think Chris Bush picked that one up. Yep. That'll be his second, I believe, Danny, actually the team's seventh. Seventh, I've missed some. I've missed some of the R's. I've caught, been all, all over Weber. Yep. The idea with that scoreboard that has everything to our left is kind of that security blanket that's not with us. Remember to stay tuned for the Rin Lake College Halftime Show. We'll scoring and stats of this one as well as scores from this tournament and from around the country. There's some stuff going on in the NHL. Some college scores. Oh, my. Bob Conte's entered the building. He will officiate with Ray Bates and Dallas Bigham in the second in the third game of the evening. 34-15, Weber Township trails ZR by 19 as we close towards the first half. Austin across the timeline, hard on the dribble. On the left wing, leaves it for Odell. Holds, looks, makes a dribble. Spins, crossover, picks up his dribble, now gives it to die to free throw on. He goes right block, spins, now leaves it for Austin, dribbles to the right wing. Austin back between the circles, down the lane, running left-hander, off his pass, no good. He gets his own rebound, but loses it out of bounds, and it'll be ZR basketball. Schimpf is going to check in for Jelly for the Tornado. Best dressed manager for ZR I've seen. At, look at that. Pink shirt, pink and purple tie, gray slacks. Very, Very nice. Cute. All of the age of about what? Three? I was going to say four, three. Three and a half. Does a great job. He's out there with water every time he moves. In style, too. It's yes. With a white collar. White collar, even, yes. 
across the timeline is Patty Go. We always like to point things out when we see young people involved. Shemp's going to launch another three front iron. Tips around all tornadoes underneath for the rebound. They can't get a hold on it. Two or three of them are in there. Didn't call the same team bowling out of bounce off one of their hands. Nice look. Those are charcoal slacks, too. Yes, it is. Very nice. Very impressive young man as the manager for the tornadoes. Across the timeline is Austin. Austin dribbles between the circle. Leaves it for Odell. Odell down the lane. Stops, pops, blocks. Goes out of bounds off of the R and will be Trojan's basketball with 61 seconds to go in the first half. Trigger in front of us who sit on the stage will be Chris Bush. Weber Township, two guys on each block and two stand by each other, free throw line in the middle. Bush throws it in, ball stolen away by Shemp, but he can't save it as he tumbles into the cheerleader from the R. And it will be Trojan's basketball, the side out of, out of bounds in front of us, a little bit more down towards the corner. Trojan's inbound to Odell in that left corner. Dribbles back out. Now goes left side. Now spins down the lane. Looks. Does it off for nobody. It's stolen away by Maposki. He gets it to Pattigo. Across the timeline on the left wing. Pattigo dribbles to the free throw line. Kicks it out right side to Shimp. Shimp travels the basketball. Too good of a fake. Too good of a walk. Too good of a move. That move will be legal starting December 25th in a different association. As it is here in this one, you cannot do that move. Can't wait. I'm ready. With it across the timeline is Austin. Between the circles, down the lane. Austin goes one on four. Leaves it for Bush, but he had to go recover it out the timeline. Top of the key, Odell. 30 seconds to go. Rubber might look for the last shot. That's if Jamie Lee wants that. However, Odell has his pocket pick, recovers, throws it back into the front court to Moser. Moser throws underneath, shot blocked by Bush out of bounds. Bush had a nice look at the rim, however, flying across the lane was... Mr. Jeffrey Pettigo to block that out of bounds. They'll take it out in front of the stage here, which is to our left, and they throw it out top of the key. Odell tried to get it stolen away, though, by Clark. Clark gets it up front to Pettigo, and he gets it up and misses the layup. Wide open, he threw it over the rim. Pettigo came up lane, still waiting to come up. Number 10 for Weber Township has it on the other end and scores. Great yeah. move by Greg Odell to get yep. to the basket. Ball thrown up there, tipped out of bounds to Mr. Austin on the floor again. Austin and Welch are two of the grittiest guards I've seen not only this year but in a while. One's Stone Cold, one's a spark plug. Yes. You may have to discuss the nickname because somebody's getting one tonight from Weber. That's for sure. Going away, the ball tipped out of bounds as we end at the first half. It is Signal Royalton 34, Weber, Weber Township 17. We'll step out. When we come back, it'll be time for the Red Lake College halftime show here on the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Chrysler dealer at King City Chrysler, Mount Vernon. Chrysler has taken the best-selling minivan and made it better. They sculptured not only the styling and not only the interiors, but the overall dynamics. Chrysler has also grouped safety and security technologies like no other vehicle in its class. Also, they've powered it with an engine that is at once powerful and efficient. At the end of the day, Chrysler gave the town and country everything it takes to stake further claim to the segment they invented 27 years ago. Incentives are excellent on the town and country right now at King City Chrysler Center in Mount Vernon. Receive huge cash discounts or receive 1.9 for 72 months. Also, our selection is great and we want to invite you to come in and test drive the new town and country minivan at King City Chrysler, 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, where you can count on us. Sports fans can be the hardest people to shop for, so WMIX has the perfect gift idea. A little more Saturday Sports Show. Tell the fanatic in your family to tune in to WMIX AM 940 on Saturday mornings after the 8 o'clock news. We talk to the coaches they want, provide the insight they crave, and the scores they need. The best part? We'll take care of the gift wrap. The Saturday Sports Show, every week on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. Face it, life can be very complicated. You need to simplify. Streamline and save time wherever you can. Consider your financial and money management. Most families have multiple checking accounts, multiple incomes, savings accounts, mortgages, and more. Thankfully, at People's National Bank, things can be much simpler with just one app. 
PMB to go. With PMB to go, you can pay your bills, make transfers between your accounts, check your balances, and much more. Best of all, PMB to go is free. Download the PMB to go app today. People's National Bank, member FDIC, wireless carrier fees may apply. Does this sound familiar? I can't stand this job. I just wish I had time to go back to school, but with work and family... I know. I just enrolled in Rend Lake College's evening cosmetology program. They have evening classes that will even fit into your busy schedule. You can even graduate in less than two years. Classes are convenient to get to. and They're in Studio RLC in Mount Vernon. They even offer financial aid. What's it like? I've been out of school so long. It's not your typical take notes. Listen to a lecture program. We will learn the latest styles and trends in cosmetology and it Looks like we'll have fun doing it. We'll be out on the salon floor getting hands-on experience and getting to know all kinds of people. By the time we're done, we'll be ready to jump into a new career and love our jobs for once. Okay, how do I sign up? I called 618-242-8459, but you can also check out their website at rlc.edu slash studio rlc or stop by the RLC Marketplace in Mount Vernon. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. The Red Lake College Halftime Show starts now. Halftime at Wayne City. It's Signal Royals in 34, Weber Township 17. This is the Red Lake College Halftime Show. They've been your vehicle to a brighter future for over 40 years. Students can choose from more than 100 degree and certificate programs, save thousands of dollars at Red Lake College, and get to work. Red Lake College, it's time. The Trojans trail the Tornadoes 34 17. We'll step out for a break when we come back. Scoring and staff. From this one, you're listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. The big holiday sale continues at Newell Furniture and Woodlawn. Lazy Boy recliners, glide rockers, and TV consoles starting at $3.29. Sofas only $5.99. Sealy plush top bedding $6.49. Plus 15% off all jewelry on walls, Chevelle mirrors, side tables, coat trees, benches, pictures, and more. Plus there's lots of holiday fun and savings at the general store with 30% off all Christmas decor and 15-20% to off everything else. Shop Newell's Big Holiday Sale for savings galore. When an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital with our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge. The entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit CrossroadsCommunityHospital.com slash fast. To learn more, if you are experiencing a medical emergency, call 911. More basketball action ahead, presented by Community First Bank. Welcome back to the Red Lake College Halftime Show. Red Lake College can save you thousands of dollars on your education. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu to see which of the more than 100 degrees and certificate programs is right for you. Red Lake College, it's time. 34-17, ZR leads Weber Township. Chris, the scoring and staff for the first half of this one. Well, uh, tell you what, there's nothing virtual about these stats. For the ZR Tornadoes from the inside tonight, they were 12 of 22 in that first half, shooting 55%. They were 1 of 6 from three-point land for 17%. From the floor, 13 of 28 for 46% for the Tornadoes. For the Trojans, they did not attempt a three-point shot tonight. They shot 7 of 19 from the inside, which obviously means they were 7 of 19 from the floor for 37%. From the free throw line tonight, thus far in the first half, the Tornadoes were 7 of 8 for 88%. 75% shooters out of the Trojans. They went 3 of 4. All of their attempts were in the second quarter. Rebounding wise, it favors the Tornadoes. They had 12 total rebounds, 8 defensive, 4 offensive. Compared to the 9 rebounds for the Trojans, who have 6 defensive, 3 offensive. Turnover disadvantage belongs to the Trojans. 16 in the half, 11 in the second quarter. 5 for the half. For the ZR Tornadoes. Take a look at individual scores. Nobody at double digits for either team yet. The Tornadoes are led by Nick McPhail with nine, eight from Bailey Schimp, six from Brandon Jones off the bench. Peyton Clark has five, and two apiece from Jeffrey Pettigo, Ryan Laposki, and Gabe Jelly to give the Tornadoes 34 points. For the Trojans, they're led by Greg O'Dell with eight. Colton Dye has seven, and Tyler Welch has two for 17 points, giving us a halftime score. The ZR Tornadoes 34. The Weber Township Trojans 17. We have went past the bottom of the hour. We need to pause to identify ourselves for station identification. This is Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. This is 50,000 watts of the award-winning Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Mount Vernon, Marion, O'Fallon, a Withers Broadcasting Superstation. 
34-17. Weber trails ZR in this halftime break, sponsored by Ren Lake College, where they have over 100 degree certificate programs to choose from. It's been your vehicle to a brighter future for over 40 years. Ren Lake College, it's time. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu. Chris, when I look at this first half, the one thing that stands out to me is the fact that there are lots of turnovers, and those turnovers led to lots of tornado points. Uh, lots of tornado points. Indeed, they didn't, they didn't need very many stickbacks or offensive rebounds. Their opportunities came from the defensive boards and the turnovers by Weber in that second quarter. Eleven turnovers in the quarter for Weber turned into quite a few ZR points, I believe, somewhere in the neighborhood, Danny, of about 12 points off of turnovers. And because of that, Weber Township finds himself down. However, we pointed out we like the work of Zane Austin, also Tyler Welch off the bench, Colton Dye, has had a good first half with seven. Greg Odell with eight. So, you know, Weber's got some building blocks they can use here as they go along for first-year coach Jamie Lee. Well, here's the issue I see right now, Danny, athleticism. Colton Dye right now, and I mean no disrespect to this, looks to be the most athletic player out there. Unfortunately, another athletic player, Ty Henderson's on the bench in street clothes, probably due to injury we don't know, we won't assume, or speculate. But you have very scrappy kids that surround those players, and that's what I like. Zane Austin, a freshman, I believe, as is Tyler Welch. Both of those are going to be guys, as long as they get some experience the rest of the way this season, who knows what might happen next year. Granny don't want to really look forward to next year and this season. However, get these kids some experience, get some athleticism back out there, and you're going to have quite a few wins come your way, as long as you stick it out and get some experience. Well, not to sound like anybody other on other places and uh, other wrestling venues, but if you're listening to the broadcast tonight and you like what you heard and you want to talk about the game, we remind you, you can follow us on Twitter at 94sports or go to our Facebook page, WMIX Sports. You can go on there and check out schedule scores and upcoming events and everything else. There's video highlights, video highlights yeah. pictures, everything we have on there as far as multimedia. So if you're on the round you want to check that out while you're listening on your phone, uh, wherever you're at, do that. Go to our Facebook page, WMIX Sports. Chris 90 to step out for a final break of the Relay College Halftime Show. When we come back, it'll be time for the third quarter, second half action. ZR leads Weber Township 34-17. You're listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Whether you're an Integra customer needing a new home or just tired of the constant changes associated with big corporate banking, you do have a choice. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins with Community First Bank. We built our business around one goal, your needs. With five locations and a team of your friends and neighbors to support you, your banking solutions are handled right here at home. And to make your move easy, we have new account specials and personal bankers ready to help. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Car insurance with personal service at no extra charge? What a novel concept. That's why State Farm is a leader in providing insurance and financial services and remains strong in this economy. At State Farm, Scott Owens is dedicated to helping you get the coverage that's right for you and the discounts you deserve. No one takes care of you like State Farm. Scott Owens will prove it. Call Scott at 242-3770. That's 242-3770. Like a good neighbor, Scott Owens is there. More basketball action ahead. Presented by Community First Bank. Starting the second half, it'll be Weber Township basketball trailing 34-17. With, as we get underway, it'll be the starters for Weber Township. Austin going away from us. We're sitting on the stage. Sold it to a bell on the left wing. Gets this DR man to man. Colton dies left elbow. Spins to the right on the dribble. Loses it. Stolen away by number 14, Moscow. He leaves it for McPhail coming across the timeline. Takes it up, throws in the left corner to Moskov, dribbles to the left baseline, shot long, rebound the weak side by Laposki, gets it back out, right wing, free ball for McPhail, and away is good. Nick McPhail has 12 points, leading scorer of the Tornadoes in the game. ZR picks up, little pressure, man to man. Half court we go. Odell with it across the timeline, now leaves it for Austin. Austin throws the right wing to Odell. He holds and throws it in the deep right corner to Lynn. Lynn dribbles to the right wing, now to Colton Dye, who spins down the left side, throws it to corner to Odell. Odell back out top, the key to Lynn, back to Colton Dye at the free throw line. He holds and looks to Austin. Austin now throws to Dye at the top of the key, 15-footer from the free throw line, now it's short, rebounded by Moskov. Coming the other way are the Tornadoes. McPhail throws it into the corner to Shemp. He shot fake. Now gives it to the right elbow to Clark. Clark now to a cutting Boskoff. He couldn't get to the basketball. Rolled it away and going the other way is off. 
at the Wayne City logo. Dribbles between the circles. Throws the right side to Odell. Deep on the right wing. He holds and throws in the corner. Lynn, that goes out of bounds off of the R. And it will be Weber Township basketball. Why is it on the old style floors? The logos are always about near where the hash was on the yep. side. Why is that? I don't know. This floor has been here a while. Lots of good players have played on this floor this tournament. Odell with it. Top of the key to Colton Dye off the side out of bounds. He dribbles back to where Dye almost inbound. It throws it to Lynn in the corner for a three off the iron. Rebound tipped around the lane. Odell had it and lost it to Clark for ZR. Clark throws it to McPhail. The Tornadoes come up quickly. McChimp in the right corner. Now they give it to Clark at the top of the key. Throws inside off the glass and in is Ryan Leposki for his fourth point of the game, 38-17. Great play by Leposki there, Danny. Just kind of wait for the D to clear and get a clean look at the basket. Add two more to the tally. The 21-point lead for ZR. Odell to Alston, top of the key. Trojans with 17 points. Can't muster anything going. He throws to Austin, throws it left wing to Lynn. Lynn to the wing. Now top of the key as Dye had to recover. Gets it to Austin, back to Dye. Top of the key, left wing pass to Odell. Odell spins at the left wing. Dribbles to the left elbow. Picks it up to Dye. Top of the key. Dye dribbles to the right side. Throws it out top of the key, Austin. Austin to the free throw line. Now throws it away. Sold away by Schimpf on the floor. Schimpf's on a one-on-two break. Goes the other way. Hard off the glass. No good. Rebounded, though. Hi, McPhail. He cleans up the mess. Nick McPhail having one great game for the Tornado. 40-17, five to go with five Jefferson County branches and responsive quality service for all your accounts. Community First Bank of the Heartland would like to welcome you to personal banking member FDIC. Under five to go, Weber Township trails 40-17. to Odell holds, throws the right wing to Bush. Bush leads for Die. Die on the right wing. Now to Austin. Austin dribbles to the top of the key to the left elbow. Down the lane, loses it. Travels the basketball. We will pick a Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game when this is over in the postgame show. Crossroads Community Hospital is more than a hospital. It's what health care should be. Lots of candidates to pick tonight from that group, these group of players. As it always is, it's a tough decision. The R comes the other way. And they'll throw inside on the left block to Clark. Spins out of the double team to McPhail, top of the key. Good. Nick McPhail has scored. Again, man, what a game he's having. 42-17, Tornadoes. 15 on the night for Nick McPhail. Good night so far for Mr. McPhail. As Weber Township across the timeline, Austin leaves for Dye as he goes down the lane. Shot good and a foul. Colton Dye. Has his ninth point of the game, looking to get the double figure as he draws a foul. He was a player of the game, if I recall correctly, a game we did here last year or the year before. Outstanding player for Weber Township. Someone that Weber could consider a go-to guy as this season goes along into December, obviously now in January. Ty makes the free throw, has 10. First of three Weber Township games going to have over the next couple of weeks will be here Wednesday for their game against Edwards County and the next Tuesday at home when they play Woodlawn. Jefferson County Showcase, of course, tomorrow will be in Woodlawn as Odin comes to town. Across the lane, now left side on the wing is Bush. Bush with it. <laughs> Throws it inside and there'll be a foul. Solo is not the term anymore, I believe. Oh, yeah? Foul is on number 20 for Weber Township, Chris Bush. Interesting. Oh, okay. Top of the key. Now the inbound. That side Shimp with it on the dribble. Throws the right side to Hargrave. Hargrave throws it to Weddles. Weddles in the ball game as Matt Morgan goes down the bench. With the top of the key. Throws the left side. With it is Peyton Clark. Dribbles and shot and a foul. And Clark with the line and shoot two for the yard. The R with his 42-20 lead here as we play along, and they'll go line and shoot two. Three twenty-six to go. Got to break somebody in tomorrow night either way. That's true. First free throw up and in by Peyton Clark. He's got six on the night. Big night of basketball. You'll have to whip on. I will head to Carbondale yeah. for the Lady Rams. The way we do things. Video is streaming. Yes, we cover yeah, as much as possible. So we use them. Right. Novel concept. Yes. Of course, we're very blessed to be able to get to do what we do thanks to our sponsors and, of course, wonderful management. Oh, no doubt. 
Free throws made, 44-20. Coming up on a Scott Owens State Farm scoreboard update, that's the next dead ball. Austin throws the right wing to Odell. Odell with it on the wing. Top of the key back to Austin against his Tornadoes man-to-man. The tornadoes are subbed in and out pretty freely here. Colton died to the rim. Underneath the basket, picks up his dribble, throws it in the left corner. Shot coming on the way. It is good by number 34, Lane Moser. His first points, and it's 44-22. Cross time is Mr. Weddle for ZR. Throws it right side to Hargrave. Hargrave's back, skips it inside. Ball tipped away by Dye, recovered and stolen away by Alex Lynn of Weber Township. Trojans try to battle back in this one, trailing by 22, 44-22. Austin across the timeline. Now throws in the right, left side to Odell. Inside they go to Colton Dye. Shot fake, couldn't get one off. Here comes Austin, stolen away by Shimp. Shimp the other way. It's up. It is short off the mark. Rebound by Weber Township. We'll have a high school girls basketball score coming up on this Scott Owen State Farm. We'll have a high school girls basketball game coming tomorrow and Thursday. Yes. But the showcase expands back to girls coverage Thursday night. Bump foul, Jeremy Weddle gets it. We'll be at ZR, in fact. Those of you listening to ZR Eagles can listen to your Lady Tornadoes. They will host the Cesar Valer Waltonville Lady Red Devils. We will be at ZR High School on Thursday for that game. And, of course, fans of the Weber Lady Trojans, fear not, we'll have coverage coming oh, yes. up in the MTC tournament, among others. In January, we have, I believe, Waltonville Weber, Woodlawn and Weber, in the late January game Something at like Woodlawn High School. Sir. Right side with it is playing, is tipped out to Alex Lynn, off the referee, keeps going out of bounds, and we'll play on. Austin to Odell, left side, down the screen, off the screen, to the box, goes it away. Chimp with another steal. Six turnover of the half for the Trojan. Man, too many. That's 21 on the night. Tornadoes. Left side with it is Weddle. Throws it out right side to Champ. Champ in the corner. Hargraves for a three. Good. Jamie Hargraves, the three-pointer off the bench, and it's 47-22. Tornado. 131 to go in the third quarter. Also in that scoreboard update, we'll have the final from the game earlier tonight. Well, Trojans have it. Die with it in the corner. Spins to the right block in the lane. Shot hook, jump hook, no good. Rebounded by Jones for ZR. Two more players coming in for Matt Morgan. He's going deep down the bench. Long week of game. Got to keep the legs fresh. Right corner, Shimp. Throws it out top of three, Hargraves. Hargraves in the left corner. Now he's throwing inside. That is Jones. Spin shot glass, good. Eight for Jones off the bench. He averaged seven points a game. He's above his average. Under a minute to go in the third quarter. Down the lane, there, back out is Austin to die for a three. Off the backboard, rebounded by Hargraves for ZR. Hargraves leads it for Jeremy Weddle. Weddle throws in the corner to Stubblefield and then tipped out of bounds. That's scoreboard update. I'll give one. The Woodlawn High School girls win tonight over South Central, 33-27. Of course, here tonight in the earlier contest, Patoka defeats Thompsonville by a final of 45-40. to that scoreboard update brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance, dedicated to helping you get the right coverage you deserve. Give Scott a call at 242-3770, like a good neighbor, Scott Owens is there. This should be the week for some holiday tournament pairings to be released. Oh, uh, it should be. For attorneys of interest. Attorneys of interest coming up. We've already got the screwed up for the girls looking for sets for there in Centralia. As officials are being mouthed from the other side of the stage, there's the three balls the inbound from Fitch, no good, hits the stage, rolls out, all the way to the back wall. Attention, Wade Thomas. Wade Johnson Thomas City. from Johnson City can't get out there and pick the ball up. He's just mouthing. Wade Thomas at practice, drove up from Johnson City. Ron Tanner doesn't have to take that from anybody. Ron Tanner can sort of take care of him. He'll have him in a game or two, I'm sure, <laughs> later on down the road. Say final quality official. That's Ron right. Tanner. 30 seconds to go. Familiar faces, new places. Bank and Ray and... Bria at Community First Bank. New location in Mount Vernon, 42nd Street. Welcome back to Personal Banking Member FDIC. Weber went down to the other end and threw it out of bounds. Off the second pass on running their offense, DR will have what will probably be the final possession of the third quarter. Got my partner for tomorrow that I am not solo anymore. With it on the right side, top of the key, ball reverse. Here comes Hargraves for another three left side. No good. Tipped out, rebound underneath. Out of bounds off the yard with two seconds to go. Weber Township will have the length of the floor. Have to break him in, those rookies of the year. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay. Probably is Carver Arena. Carver Arena. He's a big timer. Weber 
will roll the ball off the half court. Die with it on the logo from three. Off the backboard, no good. Three quarters are in the book. ZR 49, Weber Township 22. Back to Wayne City for the fourth quarter. You're listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. The big holiday sale continues at Newell Furniture in Woodlawn. Lazy Boy recliners, glide rockers, and TV consoles starting at $329, sofas only $599, Sealy plush top bedding $649, plus 15% off all jewelry on walls, Javel mirrors, side tables, coat trees, benches, pictures, and more. Plus, there's lots of holiday fun and savings at the general store with 30% off all Christmas decor and 15 to 20% off everything else. Shop Newell's Big Holiday Sale for savings galore. When an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital. With our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge, the entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit CrossroadsCommunityHospital.com slash fast. To learn more, if you are experiencing a medical emergency, call 911. For more scores and insight, follow us on Twitter at 94Sports. Now back to the showcase on WMIX. Weber Township is inbound of the basketball, and there's going to be a foul on ZR, so the Trojans will inbound underneath their own basket. We will pick a Crossroads Community Hospital at the end of this one, the post game. It's more than a hospital. Crossroads Community Hospital is what health care should be. Box set, Weber Township. They will inbound underneath their own basket. They throw in the corner, stolen the way, though, by ZR's Trevor Fitch. Fitch, a name synonymous with that program down there as well. So Hargraves, another name. Fitch and Hargraves in for the tornado. Fitch has it right now on the right wing. Skip pass on the left side. They throw inside the Jones. Up shot. No good. Travel with the basketball. With five locations in Mount Vernon, Dix, Ina, and Woodlawn. Community First Bank is proud the official voice of the showcase. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Austin across the timeline throws it to our main man, Tyler Welch. He recovers, but stolen away by Fitch. Fitch goes the other way, the and scores. Nice play by Trevor Fitch. His first points of the game is the R is above the 50 mark. 51-22 Trojans trail. Austin across the timeline. It's man-to-man half court as it's been the entire game for the Tornadoes. Lynn with it on the wing, has to pick up his dribble, throws it back out to Austin. Austin dribbles to the lane, ball on the floor, has it, throws it out to the left side, still scrambles, stolen away by the Tornadoes. Here comes Stubblefield, the other way, one hand layup, no good, and he's fouled. Brandon Stubblefield will go to the line and shoot two. Mr. Stubblefield went up with the Statue of Liberty layup, held the ball up in his hand and tried to roll it in off the glass. Pretty impressive, pressy display there. With five... Jefferson County branches and responses. Quality service for all your accounts. Community First Bank would like to be the first to say, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. 6.57 to go here in the ball game. It is Weber Township trailing CR 51-22. Second free throw by Stubblefield, no good. Rebounded by Dye of Weber Township. He gets it to Austin across the timeline. As we play along here in this fourth quarter, there's Mr. Welch. He leaves it for Lynn as they play the dribble handoff out front. Austin with it. It's a form of the dribble drive offense. But Dye has the top of the key as they cut it off. Throw in the right corner to Lynn. Dribbles out to the timeline. Leaves it for Mr. Welch. Down the lane he goes. Gets away and stolen by Stubblefield of ZR. Gets it over to Fitch. We'll go across the timeline. Things moving quickly here tonight. This game's well ahead of schedule. Scoreboard update over on our sister station, AM 940. In the first quarter, the Seahawks lead the Rams 7 to nothing with 8.52 to go in the first quarter. That scoreboard update brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. You might be paying too much for auto insurance. Give Scott Owens a call for a free discount double check. Like a good neighbor, State Farm agent Scott Owens is there. Three ball on the way from the left corner by Hargrave is good. It rattles out, rattles back in. He's got six. 54-22. It's a 32-point lead now for the Tornadoes. They have three wins on the year, two of them against Weber. Try to make it three wins against Weber to give them four wins on the year. Colton Dye to the rim, up, good in the foul. Colton Dye with 12 points. An impressive night so far for him. Making a case to be a player of the game. There's no doubt about that. 
making a play to be a player of the game. He'll have one here to try to complete the three-point play. Of course, the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase player of the game lineup, so don't be upset if it's a Weber player. Right. If you're listening to us at the Eagles at Ziegler. Right. 54-23. that right? Nope, I don't think that's right. I believe it's 54-25. Here come the Tornadoes on the other side. Swinging around, they go inside, stolen away by Colton Dye. Dye not happy with that. He takes it away. Here comes Austin. Austin across the timeline quickly. Jump fakes around one guy, goes to the rim, off the glass, no good. Ball to the floor. Scrambled around, recovered by the Tornadoes. Reese had it for the Tornadoes. Throws it to Austin. No one turnover. St. Austin gets his first two points. 54-26. I have 27. I have 27. Surely somebody's going to get it right, or we have it wrong. We'll figure it out one way or another. Weddle with it for a three. Long off the mark. Rebound weak side by Reese. Four. Z.R. He throws it to Fitch. Doublefield gets the rebound off the glass and in. Brandon Stubblefield scores. 56-26. Scoreboard says. Tornadoes by 30. Austin across the timeline. He has a pocket pick. We need to pause for station identification. We've passed the top of the hour. You're listening to Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. This is 50,000 watts of the award-winning Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Mount Vernon, Marion, O'Fallon, a Withers Broadcasting Superstation. Weber Township inbounds the basketball stole away by Weddle. He'll go the other way and score 58-26 with the basketball. Austin across the timeline. On the dribble. Against the man-to-man, under four to go. Weber trails the R58-26. That ball stole away by Stubblefield. He goes to the rim and scores. Brandon Stubblefield has four in the corner. 60-26, ZR. Weber battling as ZR picks up full court man-to-man. Interesting. Across the timeline. Austin with it on the left wing. He will dribble back to the right side. Now he brings it into the corner to Odell. Odell spins at the right wing down the lane, picks up his dribble at the right block, has it stolen away, ball to the floor, jump ball coming. During the jump ball, we'll remind you, if you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is at home in Dix, Ina, Woodlawn, and Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Jump ball here as Weber Township will lose possession into the game is Jacob Felty for Weber Township. As both teams going down, their bench is deep here in this one. Great both Bison to our right down the tunnel, getting ready to come out to start their game after this one's over. CR with a basketball, fish top of the key, throws it to the right wing to Weddle. Weddle to pitch, now the Hargraves threw his hands out of bounds, and it belongs to the Trojans. Score from the night here, Potoka beat Thompsonville 45-40 in the first game this evening. And then also a girls score tonight from the Midland Trail. Woodlawn beat South Central 33-27 as Eric Helbig's Letty Cardinals get back on track. That update brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance as another jump ball happens. Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance dedicated to helping you get the right coverage with the discounts you deserve. Give Scott Owens a call at 242-2770. Like a good neighbor, Scott Owens is there. And I wondered if the clock was moving and I wasn't looking, and it is with the big deficit. Austin brings it up, and he's fouled by Fitch. So Austin will get the inbound again for Weber Township. This one is ticking away because they're letting the clock run. Not sure what the if the tournament rule, I guess they have that invoked. But now we go the other way. Well, shot blocked. Rebound Weber Township. That is Bush. Bush loses out of bounds. And he'll say, oh, it's foul. The old 30-point continuous clock rule. Yeah, and that one's jumped in. Some tournaments can have that. It's up to discretion of tournaments. You cannot have that in regular season games. So at the line to shoot the one-on-one is Chris Bush. Has not scored tonight. Still has not. Ball hits the floor. Rebounded by ZR. Here come the Tornadoes the other way. Behind the back dribble in the front court by Weddle. Kicks it off to Stubblefield, goes up for the shot, and he's fouled. Stubblefield was fouled by Austin as he went to the rim, and that'll send the Tornado to the line. 60-26 as the clock rolls here with the 30-second roll, and there's a timeout by Weber Township. As uh, Coach Lee wanted just to get his player in the ballgame, that was Dalton Bressler. So the clock will stop on the timeout, Chris, and as we mentioned, if 
you are listening and you want to follow us, we have a couple ways you can do that on Twitter at at 94 Sports. Also, you can follow us and look at our Facebook page, WMIX Sports. Scores, schedules, all kinds of information on there, updates from games and around the area or we get scores from the Xfinity Scoreboard update each night. So, Chris, it's a great way to keep up to date. It is. I mean, we have video highlights from games in which we've done video streaming. Video will be back tomorrow night, of course, as Lady Rams visit Carbondale, but we have highlights pictures, you name it. Sports coat of the night. Straight red, black slacks, black shoes. So far, the leader in the clubhouse right now for best dress coach in the tournament, in my opinion. Double field second free throw is good. Hits one out of two. 61-26 as we roll under a minute here in this game between Weber Township and ZR. The Tornadoes lead the Trojans. 61-26. Austin has it, leaves it for Welch. Has to fight off Weddle and can't do it. Weddle's going to go coast to coast and miss the layup. Doublefield gets the rebound and puts it in for the Tornadoes. He has seven in the quarter, a lot of them on layups just like that. 63-27, Weber Township trails the R. Austin leaves it for Welch. Welch to the line, the free throw line that is, leaves it for Austin. Austin now reverses course, down the lane, kicks it to Welch, left baseline, throws up a running shot, no good, rebounded Weddle. Weddle running the other way for the Tornadoes. He spins down the lane and makes the layup. Weddle gets his second, fourth point of the game, second basket of the quarter. 65-27. Austin the other way. Across the timeline. Holds. Now leaves it for Welch. Welch dribbles between two defenders. Kicks it out in the corner to Bressler. Bressler back inside. Ball goes off the hands of Moser. Here comes ZR with one, with none, and that's how this one blends. Final score tonight. Ziegler Royalton 65, Weber Township 27. We're going to step out. We will return. It'll be time for the Sessor Auto Body Post Game Show. You're listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Hi, Roy Schmidt Ford Dealer. There's nothing like spending the holidays with old friends, new friends, and talking about the Ford year-end celebration going on now at Ford Square Mount Vernon. Get a great deal on a Ford F-150, the highest-ranked large pickup in initial quality by J.D. Power & Associates. With its available exclusive EcoBoost engine, the power of a V8 with the fuel efficiency of a V6. It's no wonder Ford F-Series are the best-selling trucks in the country for the last 34 years. I'd check them out now if I were you. Get to Ford Square Mount Vernon during Ford's year in celebration, and you'll get a great holiday deal on a built Ford Tough truck and something to talk about with old and new friends at Ford Square, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, where the best never rest. Hello, this is Hunt Bonin with People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. As a Southern Illinois family-owned bank, we have stayed true to our roots by offering great products and services to the people in our communities. With free checking, free online banking, and free debit cards, we are helping our customers save money while also providing the safety and security they expect from a community-focused bank. People's National Bank, proudly supporting Southern Illinois. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Use bill pay once per month to avoid fees. Does this sound familiar? I can't stand this job. I just wish I had time to go back to school, but with work and family... I know. I just enrolled in Rend Lake College's evening cosmetology program. They have evening classes that will even fit into your busy schedule. You can even graduate in less than two years. Classes are convenient to get to, and they're in Studio RLC in Mount Vernon. They even offer financial aid. What's it like? I've been out of school so long. It's not your typical take notes. Listen to a lecture program. We will learn the latest styles and trends in cosmetology, and it looks like we'll have fun doing it. We'll be out on the salon floor getting hands-on experience and getting to know all kinds of people. By the time we're done, we'll be ready to jump into a new career and love our jobs for once. Okay, how do I sign up? I called 618-242-8459, but you can also check out their website at rlc.edu slash studio rlc or stop by the RLC Marketplace in Mount Vernon. 
Sessor Auto Body would like to take a moment to remind everyone driving to and from the game to drive safe and be alert. Sometimes events happen beyond your control. When it does, take your vehicle to the collision pros. Sessor Auto Body is pre-approved by most insurance companies throughout Southern Illinois. This allows them to get the parts ordered quicker, getting you back on the road faster and in showroom condition. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor, or call 625-3523. That's 625-3523. This is the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. The Cesar Auto Body Post Game Show starts now. Welcome back to Wayne City High School, the 58th Andrew of Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament, where tonight the CR Tornadoes beat the Weber Township Trojans 65 to 27. This is the Cesar Auto Body Post Game Show. They're pre-approved by most insurance companies. This means Cesar Auto Body can get your vehicle back on the road faster. Next time you have a collision, see the collision pros at Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park. And Sessor, we remind you tonight that scores from tonight here at Patoka beat Thompsonville 45-40. We also have a girls score around the area. It was the Woodlawn Lady Cardinals beating South Central 33-27. Getting underway here in the next 15 minutes, game three of this tournament. Edwards County and Grayville. Chris and I will step out when we come back. Scoring and stats. From this recently completed contest between ZR and Weber Township, you're listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. The big holiday sale continues at Newell Furniture in Woodlawn. Lazy Boy recliners, glide rockers, and TV consoles starting at $3.29, sofas only $5.99, Sealy plush top bedding $6.49, plus 15% off all jewelry on walls, Chevelle mirrors, side tables, coat trees, benches, pictures, and more. Plus, there's lots of holiday fun and savings at the general store with 30% off all Christmas decor and 15 to 20% off everything else. Shop Newell's Big Holiday Sale for savings galore. When it comes to bone and joint care, only one name should come to mind. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Your fellowship-trained physician's first priority is specialized orthopedic care, ranging from total joint replacement and spine surgery to shoulder surgery and sports medicine. Our surgeons provide a wide range of specialized treatments that are unparalleled anywhere in Southern Illinois. Located on Veterans Memorial Drive in Mount Vernon and St. Mary's Good Samaritans in Campus, the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Discover the difference. A coach house garage is money well spent. On craftsmanship that's sure to get compliments. Don't cut corners on your garage. It adds value to your home. That's why you need to see the professionals at Coach House Garages. Choose from a variety of Coach House Garage designs or they'll build one to your design. For a dealer near you, check the yellow pages in Mount Vernon or go online to coachhousegarages.com. More than just a garage. More than just a garage. It's a Coach House Sports fans can be the hardest people to shop for, so WMIX has the perfect gift idea. A little more Saturday Sports Show. Tell the fanatic in your family to tune in to WMIX AM 940 on Saturday mornings after the 8 o'clock news. We talk to the coaches they want, provide the insight they crave, and the scores they need. The best part? We'll take care of the gift wrap. The Saturday Sports Show, every week on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. We're worldwide. This is the showcase on WMIX and MyWithersRadio.com, presented by Community First Bank. Welcome back to Wayne City High School. Weber Township loses tonight to ZR 65-27. This is a Sessor Auto Body Post Game Show. Sometimes things happen in an automobile. They're beyond your control when they do. Take your vehicle to Sessor Auto Body. They can get you on the road quicker, and it's showroom condition. Sessor also Auto Body, 602 South Park. Sessor, I turn it over to Chris Hugo for the stats and scoring of this game. Stats are very, very unofficial, but first we'll take a look at the team stats first for the ZR Tornadoes. There are 23 of 41 from the inside for the game for 56%. Outside shooting, 3 of 11 for 27%. From the floor, shooting 56, 50, rather, 50%. They shot 26 of 52 from the floor. For the Trojans in the second half, there are 4 of 7 from the inside, 11, 11 of 26 for the game for 42%. All of 3 from the outside. All of those attempts came in the second half, which gives them a total from the floor of 11 of 29 for 38%. Free throw shooting, both teams shot an identical 71%, with the Tornadoes going 10 of 14, and the Trojans going a simplified 5 of 7. While the rebounding advantage belonged to the Tornadoes, 24 rebounds on the night, 15 on the defensive glass, 9 on the offensive. While Weber Township had 11 boards, 4 offensive, 7 defensive. The turnover disadvantage falls heavily 
in the disadvantage of the Trojans. They had 31 turnovers compared to ZR's 11. Taking a look at the individual scoring, the Trojans had one man in double digits. That was Colton Dye with 13. Eight points came from Greg Odell, two from Tyler Welch, two from Zane Austin, and two from Lane Moser. Gave them a total of 27 points. Now for the ZR Tornadoes, they likewise also had one man in double digits. Nick McPhail had 15. Eight points apiece from Brandon Jones and Bailey Shrimp. Shimp, rather. Looking around, seven from Brandon Stubblefield. Six from Jamie Hargrave. Seven from Peyton Clark that I missed a moment ago. Four points from Ryan Leposky. Four points from Jeremy Weddle. And two apiece from Gabe Jelly, Jeffrey Pettigo, and Trevor Fitch. Giving us a final score of the ZR Tornado 65. The Weber Trojans 27. And with that... Chris and I will step out one final time here on the Seth Rodebud Post Game Show, and we'll come back after the break and pick the Crossroads Community Hospital Player of the Game. You're listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX. Hi, Joe David Cummins with Community First Bank. With five locations in Jefferson County, a 7-month, 0.77% APY CD special, free checking, free Internet banking, and free debit cards tied to local schools, isn't now the perfect time to move your banking relationship to a local community bank? No gimmicks, just your neighbors and friends taking care of your banking needs. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital with our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge. The entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit CrossroadsCommunityHospital.com slash faster to learn more. If if you are experiencing a medical emergency, call 911. Daily schedules, scores, and more. Like WMIX Sports on Facebook. Back to the showcase on WMIX. Welcome back to the Sester Auto Body Post Game Show. Sester Auto Body reminds you, drive safe on the way home for the ninth game next time you have an accident. See the collision pros of Sester Auto Body to get back on the road faster. Sester Auto Body, 602 South Park, and Sester, we're at the moment in the show, Chris, where we have to pick the Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game, and uh, you and I came to a unanimous decision tonight on who that is from this ballgame. Well, it is, and of course, it's the showcase player of the game, Jefferson County. So it'll go to Colton Dye with 13 points on the night, had nearly half of the offensive output for the Trojans. Great job by Colton Dye tonight. It's always a tough luck loss for the Trojans falling to the yard. Crossroads Community Hospital is more than the hospital. It's what health care should be. As Colton Dye is your Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game. As we wrap it up here, Chris, this is not our only broadcast at Jefferson <laughs> County Showcase tonight, but it's a busy week. Let's get that figured out for everybody. I'm going to run down tonight. Switch sharp on my memory right now. Tomorrow night, you and Mike Richardson will have the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase here on the FM and MyWithersRadio.com. You will have the Woodlawn Cardinals and the Owen Eagles for size gym. That will be about a 7.30 pregame. I will conversely have with Malvern and Rams football coach Jared Shaner, the Lady Rams on the road at Carbondale. That's on AM 940, video streaming online at MyWithersRadio.com. Wednesday night we are back here as the Weber Trojans will take on the Edwards County Lions. That's right here on 94. All the rest of these games are on 94.1 FM. At least audio will be streamed online at MyWithersRadio.com. Thursday night we are back, well, not back at, but we will see ZR again. This time it's ZRC as the girls are in action against the Cesar Valera Waltonville. Lady Red Devils, that'll be about a 7.30 pregame, 7.45 tip here on 94.1. Then on Friday night, you and I, with video streaming on the road to Cahokia, as the Malford and Rams will take on the Comanches, that'll be about a 7.30 pregame. And then on Saturday, we're back at it, not in just a, for play-by-play. We also have the Saturday Sports Show we can't forget about on AM 940, also online at mindwithersradio.com. We'll have video streaming on Saturday as well as the Malford and Rams travel to Waterloo take on the Bulldogs before they close out the Christmas break. That is a special pregame. That's going to be a 3 o'clock JV start. You're looking at a pregame about 4.15, tip about 4.30. And with that, we also remind you, you can follow us at Twitter, at 94 Sports, or go to our Facebook page, WMIX Sports. We have daily schedule. We have a daily update on the game that we're going to have on our station. We have lots of stuff. We have the usual evening scoreboard update that's on there. That's boys and high, high school boys and girls scores all around. You no, know, I can't go to bed until I see that scoreboard update on yep. Facebook. 
Yeah, it's usually between uh, any time after 10.30, between 10.30 and 11, it usually gets posted. It can't go to bed without it. Can't go to bed without it if you're a high school sports fan. That's at WMIX Sports, our Facebook page. And if it's good, why don't you go ahead and like us while you're there because we have lots of stuff going on there. We need to wrap it up from Wayne City, and we'll be back here on Wednesday night for another game with Weber Township and Edwards County. For our engineer back in the studio, Avery Barton. For Chris Hugo, I'm Denny Swinsky, thanking all the people at Withers Broadcasting to allow us to do this each and every time we go out. We thank you for listening tonight, and good night, everybody. Thank you for listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase, sponsored by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. The Jefferson County Basketball Showcase is also sponsored in part by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what health care should be. The Collision Pros at Cesar Auto Body, Newell Furniture, and the General Store in Woodlawn, Ren Lake College. It's time. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu and by Coach House Garages, Ford Square, King City Chrysler. You can count on us. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. State Farm Agent Scott Owens. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And People's National Bank. For inside information before, during, and after the game, follow us on Twitter at 94sports or like WMIX Sports on Facebook. We are your home for news, talk, sports, and today's hot country. WMIX.